Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. If nobody asks, it's presumed we're going in the right direction when the opposite may be the case. How is your child being raised? I have sat back and tried to keep shtum on this matter to avoid being called a parent shamer, but I no longer can. Parents, how is your child being raised? What are we teaching them by our actions and inactions? What are we directly or indirectly exposing them to? A mother decides to adorn the delicate head of her baby girl with heavy braids or hair pieces. The child is further decorated with jewelry, hair bands and hair clips to beautify her, all on a child that is barely two years old. The child ends up looking older than her years and thus the race to adulthood has, is ignited. We paint her nails and put makeup on her young, delicate skin, dressing her in inappropriate clothes, just like a mini adult version, navel and show and short skirts, so short you can see her underwear. We call it playing dress up. That is all, that it's all innocent, but is it really? Are we teaching our daughters that looks trump substance? As we go about our business, often leaving our children unsupervised in front of the TV or iPad, they are being exposed to unsavory content in the form of sexy music videos, disinformation, and explicit images, or worse, strangers with sinister intent. We're quick to make excuses. We have no choice. We're too busy. Our parents were at work all the time and we turned out okay. It is no longer unusual to see kids at parties trying out highly sexual dance moves involving pelvic thrusts and twerking or using swear words as parents either look on or even cheer them on. What message are we sending to our kids on good manners and decency? Are we unwittingly exposing our children to predators? To compensate for our absence, we take to literally spoiling our, our kids with material things and allowing them to get away with otherwise unacceptable behavior, such as disrespecting us, yes, their parents, and those around them. We spare the rod in the bid to be their friend. Are our decisions and actions or inactions training them up to be emotionally healthy, responsible adults, or quite the opposite, I wonder? In the UK and US, children as young as five are being taught about masturbation, homosexuality, and transgenderism in schools. I recently watched a video of something called Drag Queen Story Hour, where children are read to by drag queens in full drag queen attire and makeup. Parents stand by and watch as their children are systematically indoctrinated through the education system, arguing it's all harmless and promotes tolerance and acceptance. They should learn about the world, good or bad. We stand by as our children are encouraged to act on their feelings and to take serious life-altering decisions such as gender reassignment. We stand by as our children are told there is no God, there are more than two genders, right is wrong, wrong is right. Isn't it ironic that the very people that should be protecting these children are actually the ones causing the damage or allowing it to happen? Yes, parents, I'm talking to us. All over the world, there is a very noticeable decline in moral standards and values, resulting in high crime rates and antisocial behavior, thanks to us parents. It is time we stop abdicating our responsibilities and pay closer attention to our children and our style of parenting. If we are to halt and reverse this destructive trend, we must understand that our job is to protect 
and impart good practices, morals and values to our children and not to overindulge or neglect them and let the world raise them. Um, you know, that's the world we live in these days, like they say, where you say transgender is okay, mm. it is okay to be a homosexual, Everything but is it okay. is forbidden to marry more than one wife, you know. So these are the ideas, these, you know, people, they come around, they force these ideas on you, and then we swallow these ideas hook, line, and sinker. Growing up, even in America, in the UK, they used to spank children. Mm. Ah, and now, do you know, someone just came with the idea. It's now abuse. You know, it's, it's an abuse. Mm. You say because some parents go the extreme, so you just ban everybody from doing it. And yet, the same people will tell you, spoil the, spare the rod, you spoil the child. Mm. The same child, that's why there's high rate of suicide. Because the children never grow up to know failure. And the first time they go out there, they know that there is failure. Mm. You fail in school, they will say is, um, how do they even call it? They have a name for them yeah, now. Um, um, but I, they I, say, I, I oh, you tried anyway. I've forgotten. Yeah. And so <laughs> your, children, your parents no longer shout on you. And so the first day you go out of the real world and then your boss will scream at you. You're like, oh, they hate me here. You want to kill yourself. So we need to find a way to actually balance this. Thank God you're talking about it yeah. um, because Gradually, most of us, especially in metropolitan cities like Lagos, are copying this trend faster. Yes. And you go to parties, you see children twerking, and the parents are clapping. Mm. Oh, there my daughter can dance. Mm. And you know, so we really need to allow, let people know there should be a balance between this modernity mm. and our own way of life. Yes. Hey, can I just chip in? Um, mm. Great Please stuff do. from Uche. <laughs> Thank and, you. Um, well, I think it's split into two as well. If you go to the really poor areas, um, you see that the parents are not even there. Hustling all, yeah. all over the place. I mean, it's very, very interesting. Even in Abuja, where I live, you know, and you see different cultures. Uh, people who allow their children, even living in gated estates, children two years old, you allow them out at six o'clock in the morning, mm. they are roaming all over the place, and you know, from a certain part of the country. And then you begin to get the idea that people don't even know how to raise children at mm. all. And, and of course, by the time you go to the very poor area, that's normal. Yeah. You know, you give a child of three years things to go and sell early in the mm -hmm. morning mm -hmm. and yeah. move around the place and so yeah. on. Uh, and then there's this, the middle class people who their whole idea of parenting is to go and fight the teachers in school. Oh, Why yes. did you touch my child? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fine. Um, it's not okay for teachers to lay their hands on children. but. Where do we draw the line? Mm. I mean, sometimes, you know, you just deliberately, like our people say, uh, now snake the bone long thing. Mm. And the reason why this world is where it is today is because people try to replicate themselves mm. in their children. Yes. Yeah, that's true. So you're yes. an area boy, you have a son, you want to raise him to be an area boy. Mm. But of course, luckily, there are some people who say, well, I'm an area boy, but this son, would must turn out differently. Yeah. And then, of course, so uh, it plays both ways. So it's great education. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, all these things that's going on in the world. I think that, uh, like, he, like a liberal said, um, 50 years ago in the United Kingdom, if they found someone to be, let's say, you know, um, homosexual, homosexual mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you went in for 50 years imprisonment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 100 years ago, they would hang you, oh, hang you. hung, drawn, and quartered. You know, <laughs> now we're not saying that we should do that here, mm. but all I want to say is that we have a right to protect our society and the evolution of our society. That nobody has a right to dictate to us how things like this should, should run. Mm. Mm. I mean, just to follow on from what you said, is it, sometimes we zoom in on the transgender and homosexual because it's the more obvious one, yeah. especially yeah. in a society, but actually, what you said and why it reminds me of my advocacy last week, except that I wasn't as pointed, mm. you know, I said sacrificing our sons and daughters, yes. is that a lot of times we're parenting from a selfish self-validating, yeah. you know, almost like self-indulgent perspective. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at what is it that is your own idea of right, even when you know that that's your right, I mean, be jeopardizing your child's, you know, so like you say, area boy, you, mm. you want to feel that if your child is behaving like you, it makes you feel cool. Mm. So, you know, even when I was looking at your topic, a lot of the dressing, you find mothers who do mini me. Mm. So they wear an attire yes. and their daughter wear the same attire and they feel cool. Mm. And I said, what is this about? This is all about me. Yes. So your parenting is about you, not about your child. Yeah. And mm. so I, I just might, just to piggyback on what you're saying, we need to be more deliberate. It's not to say you arrive perfect yes. just because you have a child. Mm. But if you're deliberate, you say, look, just because I'm not doing the best for myself doesn't mean I shouldn't aspire for better for mm -hmm. my child. Mm -hmm. So deliberately set a higher standard for your child. Deliberately make sure that even where you fall short, your child mm -hmm. will be enabled to do better than you. Mm -hmm. So you take you out of the picture and let the child be the focus of your choices. You know? So even if you have to confess that, okay, 
I may be falling short, maybe I may, I may not be a, a wizard in the kitchen, for example. But if enabling, equipping my child with skills in the kitchen is better, I will encourage my child yes. to learn how to cook. I, you know, just yeah. because I don't like cooking doesn't mean the child shouldn't Absolutely. pay attention to cooking. Mm. And then sometimes we feel just very quickly, because Chuka, you must say something. Mm. You know, sometimes we feel that oh, parenting, especially for the middle class, involves maybe taking your child to the latest, uh, yeah. you know, outing, you're spending money, maybe up Give them the latest but device. Actually, I found that if your child hangs around you, mm. goes to market with you, spends time in the home with you, that is education. Yes, it is. That is keeping them occupied. So why are you not letting them do house chores? We did house chores. Yes, Let them follow you around and yeah. clean their room. Yeah. Let them follow exactly. you around and cook in the kitchen. Let them yeah. go to market Chuka, but one and second, they'll be engaged. My son once went out with us and then I, when I picked his phone to check what he was doing, he was chatting with his friend. He said, that one asked him, where are you? He said, with parents, you know, boring adult things. <laughs> okay. Now me and my wife supposed to go. Yeah. But they followed us. They sat yes. down there and they did. I would have given them an assignment to do at home, mm. that when I come, I would... So you should be uh, thinking about what is appropriate. But, I mean, Chuka, what, but, what's, but what's I think, your... But I think all I have to say from Uche's um, thing is that nobody's going to force me into moving forward. That's that word, forward, progressive. Mm. Mm. You can't tell me that um, a 12-year-old boy wants to be a girl mm. and that he should be given the chance and should see a psychologist because of that. And then at the same time, as Libra said, you are telling me that if I marry more than one woman, mm. there's something wrong with mm. me. I don't... I mean, that, that in itself tells you that we continue to get fed this rubbish and it's time we stopped yes. and said look we also have our own values mm -hmm. well as far as i'm concerned uche uche you're merely calling out the kind of stuff that we are probably aware of already and that's if we tell ourselves the truth anyway still on the vibe of home truths i'll be laying down a frank assessment of the state of the nation after the break mm -hmm.